We've spent a lot of time looking at each of the ratios for, that we can use to analyze and interpret a business. We now need to consider that there are actually some uh, limitations of using these financial indicators and ratios. So first of all, we need to be wary that any ratio we use is actually going to be based on old data. So because we get these numbers from last period, by the time they're published, they're actually already out of date. So for example, the numbers that we're calculating in 2015, uh, we won't actually use those until 2016. That's when we'll actually have the ratios for 2015. And that means that by definition, those numbers are actually out of date as soon as they happen. Another limitation is we also use, uh, for the most part, historical cost accounting. So that might mean that, for example, we're not including the impact of inflation or deflation on asset values like property. And that'll affect a bunch of ratios, particularly our return on assets and asset turnover ratios. Another limitation is that sometimes over time businesses change accounting methods and we know that that breaches the qualitative characteristic of comparability, which therefore means we're not going to be able to compare some ratios from one year to the next um, based on a change in accounting methods. Another limitation that we need to be aware of is that we do want to be wary of interfirm comparisons. It's very different to compare businesses in different industries because they have very different business models. So for example, Maya and comparing it with Qantas or BHP. Well, Maya is a business that has a lot of stock. It's a retailer. So that's going to affect uh, profits like gross profit margin. Compare that to someone like Qantas, um, that's going to be a little bit different. That's probably going to suffer for something, you know, it's going to have um, a lot of non-current assets, um, which might affect its overall uh, debt ratio. So making comparisons, we probably only want to do that within companies that are in the same industry. And lastly, frequency of reporting. Because a lot of these numbers are based on net profit for the period or the average for the period, we want to make sure that we're doing it for periods of the same length. If one business reports on a monthly basis but another one reports every 12 months, it's going to make it really difficult to compare their ratios.